Let's have a session on technology and marketing. So over the last decade, there has clearly been this increasing trend towards e-commerce and m-commerce. And that has led to the need for more online marketing. More online marketing because of this e-commerce and m-commerce has led to more data. More data that can be used by the marketing department and the marketing analytics team to try and analyse this data to look to increase sales in the future. Now this data will come in three types. One, customer data in terms of names and emails. Two, in terms of financial data, in terms of sales made, maybe rival sales made if you have access to that. It would be sales made at certain prices or it could be the cost of ads, the cost of ads at certain times, sales at certain times and also operational data in terms of shipping and logistics. And for that, you'd want to try and increase efficiency to bring down those costs. But more critically is that is a lot of data, massive data, massive volume of data, massive quantity of data. And also it's coming from different locations. It's coming some from social media, some from computer programs that are business, um, across the business, some that are computer programs that are in just one specific department or one specific team. So you've got, Data coming everywhere. And also, it's exponentially increasing. The amount of data is getting bigger each year as we have this trend towards E and M commerce. So this is where, if marketing analytics, if the marketing analytics team want to look at this data, they might need to introduce big data. And what big data does is it contains that data and also it structures it in a better way. So it's all in one place and it can be therefore analysed. IBM, SAP, Microsoft, they're examples of big data companies. Now, if you now have this data and you can access this data, then you can do certain types of models, such as price elasticity demand, income elasticity demand, sensitivity analysis, correlation, extrapolation. You can do all these types of models, which are types of marketing analytics to try and increase the effectiveness of your decision making, which will up your sales. But just the other things you need to think about on the other side, on the limitation side, well, you might need to have skilled operators, which may require increasing training and therefore training costs to get your marketing analytics team knowing what they're doing with this data. Also, accessibility to this big data. Can everyone access this data? Do you need to introduce the cloud? You might need to use AWS for that or Azure for that, but that's just more costs. But anyway, I hope that helps with a brief intro into big data and technology within marketing, and I'll see you at the next session.